two scientists walk into a bar. Now, this isn't the beginning of a joke. It's actually the name of an offbeat and educational event happening tonight and sponsored by the Ruben H. Fleet Science Center with 50 scientists and 25 bars all over San Diego. Stephen Snyder, executive director for the Science Center and chemist Doug Philipson, who will be enjoying a drink and taking questions at Hamilton's Bar in uh, South Park are here to tell us how the whole thing works and welcome. Well, thanks, it's good to be here. Yeah, so Stephen, let's stop, talk about uh, logistics here. If I go into a bar tonight after this show, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> how do I find a scientist and how do I know it's not just some rogue researcher trying to get a date? <laughs> well, you know, that's an interesting dating opportunity there. <laughs> um, no, what we are doing is the two scientists are each paired up. They're placed in a bar and they'll be by a big sign that says, we're scientists, ask us anything with the Ruben H. Fleet logo on it. That's how you'll know is your uh, person to go up and, and Pester with questions. Okay, so we know they're not drinking out of beakers, most of them probably. <laughs> That's right. Did, uh, and lab coats are optional. The yeah. Lab coats are optional. That's what I, Okay, yeah. so the first uh, two scientists walk uh, bar event actually happened in March, and this is the second one. What kind of response did you get then that you're, you're doing it again? Well, people came up to us full of questions, mostly uh, ethical questions, believe it or not, which were interesting, but, uh, you know, hard to uh, deal with from an expertise standpoint. Eth give us an example, ethical questions. Uh, why do drugs cost so much? Hmm. Right, I mean, that's mm -hmm. a really an ethical, political, uh, economic question. And, and so you've got some, it sounds like some serious questions about uh, drugs and, and what else? Uh, Biotech well, or? Uh, we had some wild questions about yeah. the universe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and that's what I wanted to ask you, Steve. Um, as far as uh, what were some of the strangest uh, questions you heard last time around? Well, the strangest question probably was uh, a gentleman who came up to us and wanted to know why is um, white meat white and why is dark meat dark and why do humans have whatever it was, white or dark meat that we have? Um, so it was sort of a question about butchers and a question about cannibalism <laughs> and about cellular dynamics all sort of wrapped up into one and uh, he asked two physicists and, and uh, how, <laughs> how did those physicists answer he said, well um i guess it could be and actually what we did was we kind of walked back okay if it's a color difference then color is related to how ah. molecules absorb and reflect light and so we just kind of talked through the kind of things trying to figure out what the answer might be because uh, this is more about the question and the conversation than it is about uh -huh. an answer and what about i understand there was a, a really random uh question question about some sort of light. Yes, yes, uh, a woman came up and said, I, uh, about 20 years ago, I was driving up the coast uh, on my way to North, Northern California, and a bright blue ball of light zoomed past the car. What was it? <laughs> Well, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see, what could it have been? <laughs> okay. And so we just got to kind of speculate about what it could be, what might happen, how might it have been, asked her questions. Of course, we couldn't answer what happened 20 years ago. Uh, you know, I didn't ask what she was drinking at the time exactly. or anything else. Exactly, those would be some uh, That would be inappropriate. But, uh, you know, it's really just, again, about this conversation about a cool phenomena. And uh, do you prepare for uh, these these kind of and, and other more uh, so regular questions? So if I could questions? figure out how to prepare, I might, but uh, there's really no way to, so... Because the questions are so broad. Right, mm -hmm. and for me it's really about the process of uh, scientists speaking with people who might not be scientists, or sometimes scientists will come up and we'll have a scientist to scientist discussion. That's fun too. Do you think it's hard for scientists to sort of get out of the lab and say, let's, yep, we're gonna put ourselves on the spot here and answer a bunch of questions? Yes, <laughs> <laughs> however, I, with programs like this, it's easier and easier. And, and Steve, what is the overall purpose? I mean, we're having fun here, but there's sure. a, an actual purpose. Oh, of yeah. This it's, you know, San Diego is a huge science town. We just don't recognize it. Even in San Diego, how much, how important science is to us and how much we are part of science. And so this is about getting the scientists who are in our community out in the public as scientists and having those great conversations. Everyone's curious. Everyone's got questions. And it's cool to sit down and talk to someone and try to find out the answers. And where can people go to find out uh, where they can go meet the scientists tonight? Sure, they can help on our website, rhfleet.org. They can click on a two scientists link and then we'll have where the bars are, who the scientists, uh, the expertise of the scientists who are there, what times they'll be there, all the information they'll need to come out and have a great time. Okay, and we've got about 30 seconds left, so I have a stumper for you tonight okay. to help get you ready for tonight. Uh, uh, I'll ask Doug this. Um, what would happen first, the Earth's rotation slowing to a complete and utter stop or the sun uh, burning out? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> um, it's definitely out of my area of expertise. 
So well, we'll uh, let Steve answer it. Well, let's, 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 <laughs> hope, let's hope we're not around to find out either one, because it would be bad. Um, but realistically, the sun will engulf the Earth well before the Earth slows down and stops spinning. So yes, yeah, several billion years from now, we will be inside the sun for a brief <laughs> period of time. Wow. Uh, and then it's all over. We got an answer. We didn't even have to go. There's right. a whole lot more uh, information on our website, kpbs.org. Stephen Snyder, Doug Phillipson, thank you so much and enjoy tonight. Mm, thank you. Thank you for uh, having us.